there and welcome to Bascom's Corner. Oh, what I'm sure I'm going to have for you this week. Listen, we are talking about all my players out there. And I'm talking my female and male players looking to do what? Looking to go pro. So your topic this week, I want to be a pro. I got nine steps for you. Nine steps. And these are the same nine steps that I tell players what to go through and the same nine steps that I had to go through. So let's go through these steps, yeah? Step number one. If you don't have talent, it's going to be tough for you. If you don't have the fundamental skills, knowing the game um, from your ball control, from dealing with complexity, from even just understanding, right? Physically in shape, it's going to be tough for you. You got to have talent. You got to be able to play the game. And listen to me. I've seen a lot of players that come. And the first thing they're like, yeah, you know, I played on my college team. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And everybody talks about me. That's not good enough. That's not going to get you. Yeah. You need a strong evaluation. If you're in college already, once you get that footage, then that's one thing. But a lot of players who don't end up going to college, you're going to have to do some work. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is get an evaluation. Or if you're in college, get a reference. Okay. That evaluation has got to be so strong. Don't get somebody to evaluate you that's going to tell you what you want to hear. That does not make sense to me. Because what's going to happen, you're going to fall short. You want to get somebody that's able to forecast and they know what being a pro may look like. Okay, so you're going to have to get somebody who can say, yes, you are here. Here's where you're going to have to be. And let's structure some sort of timeline. Okay, but that talent comes first. Okay, so make sure, step number one, talent. Step number two, what are you willing to do? What are you willing to do to be a pro? Tell me, what are you willing to do to be a pro? Yeah, I'm talking to you. And parents, I hope that you're showing this video, okay, to your kids. Because I'm talking right to them. What are you willing to do? What sacrifice are you willing to make? If somebody has to remind you that you want to be a pro, you don't have it. You're going to have to grind and work and you're going to have to give up something to get something. See, nobody's going to give you anything. Nobody is giving you anything. You're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to commit yourself and be self-motivated. And if you don't understand that and are very clear with it, you're going to be in trouble. You will fall short. Step number three. I, can, I cannot tell you enough on what having a good attitude is going to mean. I've seen a lot of players looking to be pro. But you know, they get in the first day of training camp or the tryouts. And they think they're better than everybody else because they feel that they worked hard and it's deserving that they get it. So they walk around with a chip on their shoulders and hasn't done nothing. Don't think because you was the best player in your high school or the college that all of a sudden is that you're entitled to something. Your attitude has to be correct. And this is not just for the game. This is also for outside the game. You know, players have seen it too many times. And then when you're told you did not make it, you want to blame somebody else. Now that's on you. That's all on you. So you got to make sure you don't expect nothing. You got to go get something. And always think when you're trying out in training, is that somebody else out there wants it just as bad as you. So check yourself. So check yourself. We say check yourself at the door. Check yourself. Because that's going to be important. Step four. You got all this talent. You've got to be able to brand yourself. Okay? And it's very important because later on in my steps, this is where this is important. You got to do video recording, videotape yourself, uh, get a lot of games in. And listen, my players, don't videotape yourself outside in the backyard juggling. Nope, not going to get you nothing. We want to look at it. 
get somebody videotape you playing games in the position that you play in, okay? Because you, you're not going to have no excuses. Remember, as pro coaches, we cannot see you. As scouts, they can't, they, they, they're not going to see you. That's the only time they're going to see you. And if you're a forward or offensive player, don't just videotape yourself scoring goals. Put a couple of little sprinkles of clips in there for defensive hustle. Yeah, drop it back behind the ball. Uh, quick reaction on transition. Throw some of them in there, okay? So so there's some little tips. And if you're a defender, throw some offensive stuff in there, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, all right? So that's going to be important. That That's step that number four. You're going to have to get some footage of yourself so you can create, okay, creating this whole profile for yourself, okay? So that's step number four. Step number five, you don't know what does work, right? You're, you're grinding, you're working hard. Now you got to be your own agent, Yeah. D don't go around and trying to, oh, let me get an agent. All of a sudden, you want an agent. Everybody wants an agent. Haven't done nothing, but you want an agent. And you want to give up something. You want to give up this percentage for somebody else to do the work. When you can actually do it yourself. Let me tell you how simple it is. Research your teams. Google, internet, research them. Outdoor, indoor, no matter where you want to play. You want to play in England? Great. Research them. Then what you do, you get yourself to six to eight teams. And even if you're in different levels, take them in different levels, okay? And that's going to be the start. You've got to be your own agent. You've got to commit yourself to that little extra hustle, that little extra work. And it's not even like it's difficult today. All you got to do is go on the internet. You can punch up whatever teams you want. Go on the internet and do some work. Become your own agent, okay? That's very, very important. Become your own agent, Okay? Step number six, your step number six is more got to do with managing, okay? You're going to have to manage. You're going to have to set a timeline and you're going to have to set some objectives, goals, okay? So you're going to have, so you're going to build a plan, right? You're going to make a plan for yourself. So for instance, what would this look like when you research teams and realize, so in this sixth step, when you, when you realize that, wow, they start open tryouts in November, don't start getting ready, okay? Uh, you know, October, end of October, I'm going to get myself ready. Too late. Plan yourself four, five months before, okay? If training and open trial is going to start in January, then you you build your whole, whole you know, your whole timeline performance training, nutrition, get everything set, build this awesome plan. And if you're coming or you're traveling around, try to research some teams that's either closer together in distance, where you can pop from one team and go to the next, okay? Also understand in this research, when you're building this timeline, you're gonna have to financially get some money in your pocket, okay? Unless you have a sponsor. Uh, because a lot of teams may put you up for one or two days, but if they extend your time, they may cost you a little bit of money, okay? So just make sure on the managing side, you got, you know, just put some money in your pocket so you can know that, okay, I'm going to jump from this this place to another place. You may have to jump on a train. Uh, you may have to catch cabs. You may have to even catch cabs to train. You may, so you may have to figure that out, okay? What that budget is going to look like. Step number seven, all this information, back to your videos, back to your profiles, get a resume together or CV. Now you got to send it out. You send it out to all the teams that you researched. Put a ladder in there, a little cover ladder, something small if you want. Look professional, okay? Look professional. But in that, you must send your video clips. You must send your video clips. And these video clips don't have to be long. They don't have to be long. Don't send a whole game. We're not got that type of time. We don't have that type of time to search through a whole game. So you got your one. Okay, going on to your seven. Now we've got our number eight. My players, I cannot say this to you enough, but you're going to have to have some patience. You're going to have to have some patience because you may not make it the first one. You keep going. You do not stop. you got to be persistent. But don't be aggravating. Be persistent, but don't be aggravating. Don't be blowing people's phone up if they told you no and you're going back to them. No. You keep, you keep trying out. You go to different places, right? Be persistent. You don't stop. 
Give yourself every opportunity for that one chance. And if you're told no, it's okay. You could get back up, go again. So let's say for this, if you come to a team or get to a team, you gotta ask questions, okay? You gotta be able to say, one, how am I making out? Number two, what's some things I can work on? So as the training is going on, you can go through these processes, right? And you can develop it. Also, connect with the players who's there already, the veteran guys. Get connected to them. That's very important, right? Build that connection, okay? Build that connection with them because they give you a lot of information. So you're, you're going to have to be patient in this process. Some of you will get luck of the draw. And you may have enough talent that a coach can say, wow, that's the type of player I want. Okay? So being patient, you also got to do your homework. Do your homework. You got to find out, are there any positions left? Yeah? Are there any positions left? Are there any spots left on that team? You know how many of you go to the teams and you don't even know if they got one spot left. You don't even know if that I'm trying out, I'm a forward, I'm trying out, and they don't even need a forward position. They need a goalkeeping position. Did you ever think about that? Okay, so, but that doesn't mean you don't go. What you're doing is that you're also going to be recognized, okay? So even if they don't have your spot, but research it, okay? So you don't have this false hope. But if you got some talent, somebody will still pick you up or they'll spread your word. Step number nine, no matter what you do, and it's very important, you make it count. You better make it count. Don't go through all this work, all this work, all this sacrifice, all this hard work, great attitude, putting yourself through the grind, making all these promises to yourself, and you don't make it count. Shame on you. You know what that looks like? You don't give up. You give everything you got, 100%. You do not give up. You have to make it count. This means you come back with something. And if you didn't make it, at least you gave everything you got. And you have no excuses. Oh, the coach don't like me. I'm tired of hearing that. Make it count. Come back with something. Come back with an evaluation. Come back with some sort of, of process so you can continue to work harder or to help you in your next journey. But do not come back with an excuse. Shame on you. Because you will continue to get licks the next time. And don't get around your buddies. Say, yeah, you know, coach didn't like me or this player didn't like me. No, no, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You give everything you got to make it count. No excuses. Brush yourself off and go to your next one. So my players, that's all I got for you. That's all I got for you. I'm hoping it helps, yeah? Thanks for checking out Bascom's Corner. I want to be a pro. Put your time in. You'll see success. Thank you.